So is it official shadow cabinet policy to vote for the triggering of Article 50? Our policy is not to block Article 50. That's what the leader was saying this morning. So That's is it what policy the to vote for it? Our policy is not to block it. You're talking about voting for it. We no, don't, I'm asking. No, no. We don't know what the Supreme Court is going to say. We don't know what legislation the government is going to bring forward. And we don't know what amendment right. we're going to move. But, but we are clear that we will not vote to block it. OK, so you won't vote to stop it, but you could abstain? No, what we will do... Well, either is, you vote for it or abstain or you vote against no, it. No, we're, we're parliamentarians. What we have to do is to right. scrutinise what they're doing. There are too many questions that are unanswered. For instance, the position of millions of EU migrants living and working in this country. Right, but you, you may not get the answer to that before Article 50 comes before the Commons. So what would you do then? We are going to amend it. We can only tell you exactly how we'll amend it when we understand what sort of legislation the government is bringing forward. And in the course of moving those amendments, we will ask the questions that the people of Britain, actually, whether they voted right. leave or remain, won't when, answer. When you, you come to a collective view, will there be a three-line whip? I can't tell you what the whipping will be because we haven't seen the government's legislation. No, but you will come to a... Know. When you see it, you'll come to a collective view. It's a collective view on negotiations that many regard as the most important this country will undertake since the end of the Second World War. Will there be a three-line whip on Labour's collective view? Precisely because it is important, we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. When we see what the Supreme Court says, Crucially, when we see what the government legislation is, we will tell you how we'll amend it and you will hear what the whipping is. Will shadow ministers be able to defy any three-line whip on this with impunity? It's not normally the case that shadow ministers are able to defy a three-line whip. But they did on the earlier vote that the government int uh, introduced about Article 50, not the triggering of it. Uh, and I think those who voted against are still there. In the Blair years, you certainly couldn't defy a three-line. No, I'm not asking about that. I'm asking about now. We'll see what happens going forward. I, mean, I remember when the Tories were hopelessly divided over the EU, all these mastery votes and endless arguments. Now it's Labour. It's just another symptom of Mr Corbyn's poor leadership, isn't not it? Not at all. Two-thirds of Labour constituencies voted to leave, mm. a third voted to remain. That would be a challenging situation, whoever the leader mm. was. What we are seeking to do is to bring the party together and, more importantly, bring the country together. And I think how we will do that by pointing out how disastrous mm. a Tory but, Brexit will be. But meanwhile, about 60 to 80 Labour MPs are likely to defy a three-line whip. That's what you read in the papers. Mm. You also read in the papers about a three-line whip that hasn't been decided yet. Will Labour set out its blueprint for Brexit? Will you publish what you think the negotiating goal should be? We're very clear what the negotiating goal should be. We think that the economy mm. and jobs and living standards should be the priority. Mm. What Theresa May is saying is that holding her party together okay. is her priority. She's well, putting party to be a above priority country. For, for both of you. Well, let's see how clear we are. Does Labour think that we should remain members of the single market? Ideally, in terms of jobs in the economy, of course we should be in the single market. I have so, to tell you, British business thinks that as well. Right, so it's Labour policy we should remain a member of the single market. Labour believes that jobs in the economy come first, and right. if they come first, you would want to remain part of the single market. Uh, remain a member of the single market is what I'm asking. Jobs in the economy come first, and in order to do that, you'd want to remain, ideally, you'd want to remain a member. As a member. So with membership comes free movement of people, the jurisdiction of the European Court, and a multi-billion pound membership fee. Is Labour prepared to pay that price for membership? I think we'll find that the Tories are going to have to pay money in order to uh, get the sort of access they need for British business. Uh, I'm, so I'm the money is neither here nor there. Well, what about free movement of people in the jurisdiction of the ECJ? That is the price you pay for membership. Would Labour pay that? The EU has made it clear that you cannot have... Mm. Theresa May... Uh, well, I'm, I'm asking for Labour's position. Our position 
is rooted in reality. And the reality so, is that you cannot have the benefits of being mm. a member of the European Union, including being a member of the single market, without the responsibility. So, and they so include freedom just of movement. Just for clarification, they include freedom of movement, yeah. remaining under the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice, and paying the membership fee required. Uh, that's Labour's position? Our position is we put jobs in the economy first. No, I'm that asking is about these three. You've said Labour wants to remain a member of the single market. I'm asking you, because that's the price tag that comes with it. I'm just trying to clarify, does Labour agree with paying that price tag? We are not pre-empting the negotiation. We can only tell you what our goals are. And our mm. goals are to protect jobs sure. and to protect the British economy. Should we remain, is it Labour's position, that we remain a member of the customs union? Well... Um, if we don't remain a member of the customs union, I don't see how uh, Theresa May can keep her promises to Nissan that they'll continue to have unfettered access to Europe. No, but I'm asking, but is it Labour's policy to remain a member of the customs union? Because you said Labour's position was clear. It is clear. So is it Labour's it policy clear. to remain a member? It is clear. And it's clear that Theresa May... No, no, I'm not asking no. about Theresa May. Well, if I had I... her on, I would ask her. I... But I've got you on. Is it Labour's position to remain a member of the customs union? It is Labour's position to do what is right for British business and British industry. Right. And, and does that, that mean seem... remaining a member of the customs union? Depending on how the negotiations go, you... it may prove that coming out of the customs union, as Theresa May has indicated that she wants to do, could prove catastrophic and also could actually mm. destroy her, her, her you... promises to Nissan. You do accept that if we remain a member of the customs union, we couldn't do our own free trade deal. Is that a price you're prepared to pay? Yeah, but what sort of free trade deals are you talking about? Well, the ones I mean, that presumably a future Labour government would negotiate but couldn't now because you want to remain members of the customs union. First and foremost, we have to protect British jobs and British industry. And if we're talking about free trade deals with Donald Trump, America mm. first free trade deals, mm. the danger is that Theresa May will get drawn into a free trade sure. deal with America, but, which will open up the NHS but you won't to do a free trade American deal corporate... Because you're a, you want to stay part of the customs union, We're I no think. longer part... The cards are in Theresa May's hands. Oh. If she takes us out of the single market, if she takes okay. us out of this, uh, the customs union, we will then have to deal with that situation. How uh, big a crisis for Jeremy Corbyn will it be if Labour loses both by-elections on February the 23rd? I don't believe we're going to lose both. But if he was to lose it? I'm not anticipating that because I do not believe we are going to you lose. Could, would you seriously claim that Labour could lose two seats in mid-term of a Tory government and it would just be business as usual? business as usual, but I'm not anticipating losing. Therefore, I'm not prepared to, to talk about something which hasn't happened. Very well. We shall see you on the night, if it does or doesn't.